Hey gang, it's Rob. In this video, we're gonna talk about what kind of jobs can you get with the A-plus exam. Hey gang, it's Rob from ITMaskey.com, and my job is to help each and every one of you guys get certified. So if you're here, you're probably thinking about getting the A-plus. So the A-plus, if you don't know, you should know is a two-part exam. You gotta pass both exams to get the A-plus certification. So the A plus is gonna come up on a lot of different job boards. So a lot of times when you're looking for entry level jobs and your way to get your foot in the door in IT, A plus is gonna come up a lot. So the cool thing about A plus is you're gonna learn a bunch of stuff. And that's good for help desk because at the help desk, you're gonna deal with a bunch of stuff, whether it's printer stuff, network and security, pretty much you are the first line of defense, right? A lot of people are scared of help desk. A lot of people want to skip that step when it comes to IT. Me, myself, I'm gonna tell you right here, right now, does help desk pay a lot? It depends, but most times, not really. But the good thing is, you may not be getting the money, but you're gonna be getting a hell of an education. Like that's the experience piece to get to the bag, to get the money. You got to get some damn experience. You have to go through different processes. You know, the advent of Google and being able to just type in a question and get an answer is great, perfect, convenient. But that mentality isn't a good thing when it comes to learning. You need to research and you also need to actually go through some stuff. So the help desk is gonna definitely help you get that experience piece, okay? So I use myself as an example. When I'm trying to figure something out, when I'm trying to do something, it's not about the money at that point, right? Now I gotta get paid, I got a mortgage, all this type of stuff, that's cool. But if I can get an education that's gonna last forever and I can actually learn this stuff that's gonna lead to a bigger bag later on, I'm cool with it, right? I don't give a damn if it's only making $20 an hour, which $20 an hour may be a lot to you. I'm not sure yet in, in your life, but if it's only $20 an hour, right? I would take that job if I know that it's gonna lead to a skill set, the experience, and something that would lead to maybe two, three, five years down the line, I can be making 100 grand a year, okay? Don't skip the small steps. You have to get that experience. So when we talk about experience, when we talk about entry level jobs, the A plus can get you a different, a couple different positions. So I'm gonna be honest, a lot of these are different titles, kind of for the same damn thing. All right, so the first one is a service desk analyst. That's pretty much just a help desk analyst, a help desk person, you're gonna be working at the help desk. The next up is a data support technician. So a data support technician, you're gonna be dealing with data on a junior, junior, junior level, right? Now data is super important and data is another way to eventually get to a big bag. So YouTube, Spotify, Pandora, Apple Podcasts, wherever you're looking at, whatever you're doing, whatever you listen to this on, it's using data. It's using the data for this episode to see, okay, who's listening to this? What other podcasts that are they listening to? And all that data, they use that to advertise to you and to show you and recommend you other things in the algorithm that you may like as well. Another thing or another title is a technical support specialist. That's also help desk. So if you was a technical support specialist at Verizon, people would be calling you, hey man, my iPhone is messing up. Hey man, my Android is messing up. And you will walk them through the processes to fix their phone. Another one is a field service technician. So it's kind of like the help desk, but you would be actually out in the field. So instead of doing stuff over the phone or right there in the office, you would actually go out in the field and troubleshoot stuff. You would be repairing wires, you'd be setting up routers, you would actually go from location to location actually fixing stuff in the field. Another one could be an associate network engineer. So you would be like a junior engineer underneath an actual network engineer. They may have you do small menial tasks or do this, do that, but Always remember, if you have a trajectory, if you have a path, there's nothing better than getting underneath somebody that's already at where you want to be at. So just remember, at first, 
don't focus on the bag so much. If you do, it may affect you in the long term, right? You may make a little bit more money in the short term, but if you get an education, if you get an experience and other experience, actually get hands on stuff, it's going to help you in the long run. So for example, for me, I wouldn't be able to teach stuff. I wouldn't be able to just turn on this camera without no script and just go ahead and spew this stuff out if I didn't have experience, right? I have experience before I started training people for Master IT. I started training people seven, eight, ten years ago in the military, right? So through those experiences, I kind of saw, okay, different teaching styles, the way different learners all so on and so forth, and I was able to mold myself into an experience educator that can educate anybody you need those same skills you need that same process right you got to go through a process to build yourself up it's not just the certification right it is the experiences that you get after that so just remember that help desk isn't so bad with the a plus you can get a help desk role you can get an entry level role but most importantly you can get your foot into it from there the possibilities are limitless. You got 30, 40 different jobs that you can do inside one organization if you're doing the right thing. Okay, I don't feel like doing help desk no more. Maybe I can move to networking. Nah, I don't really like that. Maybe I can go get with the, the, the threat assessment team or I can get with the cyber team. I can do this, I can do that. But you can learn, right? So always look at that. Whatever your first job is, whatever job you're at right now, try to learn. If you're trying to get into tech, Figure out where the tech people are, figure out where the tech team is, and try to get one of them to take you under, uh, take you, um, under their wing, or just look, you know, just be a spectator. Okay, that's how they do this, that's how they do that. But you always need to be learning, so help this isn't that bad. And we just went over what jobs you can get with the A plus certification. Make sure you watch my last video and listen to my last podcast episode to be able to know exactly what you need to do to get into tech. As always, we are enrolling right now for our online training programs, the Winter Circle and the Zero to IT program, where you can get your first certification in as little as 30 days. Other than that, I'll see you in class.